Let's bring in our News Nation political analyst, host of the Aggressive Progressive podcast, Chris Hahn, and former acting White House Chief of Staff for President Trump, Mick Mulvaney. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. It's great to be here. We're, great. We're really excited to have you. Mick, I'm going to start with you. President Biden looked to paint a very stark contrast of Democrats' vision for America with Republicans' agenda under former President Trump. There are a lot of undecided voters. Those Haley supporters are up for grabs. How do you think it played with those undecided voters? Uh, well, aside from the yelling and screaming, I actually thought I was watching a Chris Hahn podcast. There was so much yelling and screaming. Um, <laughs> but I think that both sides will find things that they really like. The clip that you played from the president there was, was excellent. The closing was very, very strong. In the middle, the Republicans will be will be referring all day today, I expect, the numerous times that Biden got lost in the speech. He was slurring his words and so forth. So they'll be using this as evidence that he's, he's simply not up to the job again. But both sides will claim victory. The polling data, and it has been very good for the president overnight. I've seen mm -hmm. one poll that has is a 17 percent increase on the, those polled thinking the country is headed in the right direction under his policies. That's that's a, that's a success by any measure. And Chris, first, I see you shaking your head, but the White House wanted this speech to be a game changer. They want Americans to look at him differently, not focus on those sagging poll numbers, not focus on his age. Do you think that was achieved? Yes. Uh, and I have a very popular podcast, so I'm glad that he was mimicking me last night. Look, <laughs> here's the thing. Uh, I, I think that the president answered the call last night. He took it to the Republicans. The Republicans in that chamber, like Marjorie Taylor Greene, looked like a clown show. I think he answered the questions about whether or not he was up to the task. Republicans might try to take one clip where he got lost on the prompter. Reading from a teleprompter is hard, as you know very well. And I think the president did very, very well last night delivering an excellent speech, outlining his vision to the country, and more importantly, contrasting where he stands to his predecessor. And, uh, you know, Mick hit the nail on the head. The data doesn't lie. Republicans can spin all they want. America knows what they saw last night. They saw a man up to the job who was ready to fight, which Democrats are very happy about because they've been saying, people like me have been saying, you got to fight harder. You got to push back more. The president delivered on that last night. I was very proud to watch that speech. Yeah, we keep hearing that he had a messaging problem. I think a lot of Democrats agree with you here. Mick, you and I have talked about this before. Border. A lot of Americans say this is one of their biggest concerns, the defining issue of the 2024 election. President Biden went after Republicans over that failed bipartisan border security bill. Let's listen. The result was a bipartisan bill with the toughest set of border security reforms we've ever seen. Oh, you don't think so? You don't like that bill, huh? The Border Patrol Union has endorsed this bill. The Federal Chamber of Commerce is... Yeah, yeah. You're saying, oh, look at the facts. I know... I know you know how to read. Mick, you and I, and I have discussed when Trump goes off prompter. This is one of those moments for President Biden where he ad-libbed a bit. Do you think this shifted the narrative on what's been a very tough issue for his campaign? Yeah, not really. I, I think he did what he had to do. He's trying to make the same case. There was a special election, uh, Hannah, a couple weeks back in New York that the Democrats won sort of with that same message on the border, which is we want to work in a bipartisan fashion, et cetera, et cetera. It worked in that special election. I'm not sure it works at the national level. Here's why. Uh, other polling, Chris was very you know, correct to look at the data from overnight. You can't lie about the data. At least the data doesn't lie. Right now, uh, more than half of Americans think that putting Joe Biden back in office for another four years will make immigration worse. Only 9% think about that about Donald Trump. Republicans win when the issue is border security. Republicans win when the issue is law and order. So I think, again, the president did what he had to do. I'm not sure that one speech, even though it was a good speech last night, changes that dynamic very much. I think the Democrats will continue to struggle, struggle as long as the border is one of the top issues in the country. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.